welcome to our mini documentary exploring the evolution of Super Mario Bros. through its various ports. Let's dive right in. What are some of the key differences between the original 1985 version and its modern ports? Well, one significant difference is the graphical fidelity. The original game featured pixelated 8-bit graphics, while modern ports boast high-definition visuals with vibrant colors and smooth animations. While the core gameplay remains intact, modern ports often introduce new features and enhancements. For example, some ports offer additional power-ups, levels, and multiplayer modes, providing players with fresh experiences while staying true to the original formula. It's impressive to see how the game has evolved while retaining its nostalgic charm. Now, let's talk about the impact of technology on these ports. Technology has played a crucial role in enhancing the gaming experience. Advances in hardware capabilities have allowed developers to push the boundaries of what's possible, resulting in smoother gameplay, improved graphics, and expanded content. While digital distribution offers convenience, some argue that it detracts from the nostalgic experience of playing on original hardware. There's something special about dusting off an old NES console and popping in the cartridge. Nostalgia certainly plays a significant role in the appeal of retro gaming. But how do modern ports cater to newcomers? Modern ports often include features like tutorials, accessibility options, and remastered soundtracks to welcome newcomers and make the experience more enjoyable for everyone by striking a balance between preserving the original essence and adapting to modern gaming standards, these ports ensure that Mario's adventures continue to captivate audiences of all ages. As we wrap up, it's clear that Super Mario Bros. has left an indelible mark on the gaming industry, transcending generations and platforms. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Until next time, game on!